So we have two ways um, to work around a huge files in the virtual tab. Um, we'll show you method one. You can see movie one that we want to join with movie two here has 1.75 megabytes. So it's pretty short. Um, and then movie two here has 3.51 uh, megabytes. All right, so we want to join those. We'll move movie number one to the timeline and then append AVI segment and choose uh, movie two here. Now the trick is to use um, direct stream copy when you don't you're not using filters. Um, you have to choose direct stream copy under video as opposed to full processing mode because full processing mode uh, will re-encode the whole thing while direct stream copy just copies it. Now you can save it as an AVI, we'll save it as movie three here. Um, and now you can see that movie three has uh, five 5.27 megabytes, which is not too big. Now, if you want to use filters, uh, you have to go back to um, full processing mode. And now you'll be able to choose a filter here. We'll add a, a random one. Let's add a subtitle filter. Um, and now, whenever you're using filters, you want to go to compression and choose a codex, such as DivX or XVID, um, which is what I'm going to choose here, XVID. And then now you can uh, trim or split. Uh, we'll extract part of the whole joined video here. And now we can go to save as AVI and save it as movie 4. It's going to take a little bit um, depending on how big your original was, original video was. And I can see movie 4 here is not too big. It's just 517 kilobytes. So that's it.